This week at Miracle Mountain Ranch, we're gonna make some barbecue. barbecue here at Miracle Mountain Ranch? I started about three years ago. Dan Cooper taught me how. So what's this process we're doing here? We're just uh, cleaning this out a little bit yes. so we can just start the fire? Cleaning it out. I smoked last week and I just kind of let the last of the embers burn out. And so this week I just getting it clean before I start the process again. No better way than recycling small processes. So I'm here with Hannah Snyder and one of the first steps in this process is building a fire. So that's what we're doing. And I just want to catch up with Hannah a little bit about, you know, how long have you been here, Hannah? And uh, what was even your first like job or volunteer position at Miracle Mountain Ranch? So this is my 15th summer attending, attending the ranch. I came first as a rancher and then my first job was up in the horse barn. I worked as a wrangler. Awesome. And I believe like your sister was a student here and several of your family members. She was, yes. I have both a brother and a sister who came as students. And my mom has come and volunteered as a nurse for several summers. This is a sound free video, right Donnie? Oh no. <laughs> She's mixed up the different supplies. Uh, yeah, do you like making barbecue? It's I one do. Of your favorites? It's one of my favorite jobs. Here we're going to put in the spices. Tell us what we're doing here. All right, so I have four cups of brown sugar, uh, two cups of Montreal steak seasoning, a cup of paprika, two cups of kosher salt, a half cup of Cajun seasoning. Three quarter cup of pepper, one cup of onion salt, a cup of garlic salt, and a cup of mustard powder. And I'll mix those all together and we will rub them on our pork. this cut of meat actually come from called the pork butt sometimes referred to as a Boston butt where does it come from it comes from the shoulder of the pig Hannah what is this process here this is we're just putting the, the pork on the smoker so got it all rubbed up our fire got started so it's ready to sit on the smoke for quite a while how long will they stay on they will stay probably about 12 uh, 10 hours. If we come over here, we'll see the fire I built earlier. It's got a little bigger. It's got a little bit bigger. It'll continue to keep getting a little bit bigger. I'll add more wood after we're done here. But this is, this is just the fire and then the smoke continues back farther to where the pork is. So we're just getting mostly, mostly smoke on the pork, a little bit of heat. It'll give us our nice, good flavor. That's awesome. All right, we'll come back in about nine to 12 hours, something like that, and show you the next process. Later in the day, let's go check on that barbecue and see how it's coming. Come out here with Hannah. We're gonna check on the Boston butts. There's pulled pork to be. What do you think? What do you see here? Oh, it looks pretty good. 
I think I'll leave it on just a bit longer, get a bit a bit more of a, a bit more of a crust there. So what are you looking for? Um, I like to look at the edges. I don't want them to get really hard and crusty. Personally, I like when my the meat's still really moist when I pull it off. So I just like it to be pretty dark, a dark color, but not not hard. Awesome. All right, we'll come back later and pull them off. While the meat is cooking, I want to take you around the ranch and show you a few more things that are happening here at Miracle Mountain Ranch today. Uh, Adam, what do we got going on here? Why is this one uh, in the shop? Well, we've got a little, little bit of an excessive play here on this shaft. It's moving in and out a little more than we'd like. So we've got to pull a bunch of these bolts off and pull that section out and see which parts need replaced on the inside whether it's the cam follower or I'm not really sure yeah because we got to get ready I and mean, about how much hay is there is there left to do oh i don't know if there's 40 more acres probably how many there. how many bales do you think that maybe uh six thousand probably another six thousand probably another six thousand so eight thousand want to bring you out and show you two things look at look at this hole here these are absolutely frustrating when you're driving a tractor in the field. You hit these, bump all over the place. Pennsylvania Groundhog. Now in Punxsutawney, they worship this little critter, but out here, it's not very helpful. These little monsters create huge holes in your field. I want to show you something else is, uh, look how much new growth has happened in this hay field since we cut it, I believe it was last week. So already just growing right along, you know, you figure that's almost five inches of growth, probably something like that. It's pretty neat to see. All right, the barbecue has been cooking and it's ready to be pulled. So let's go inside, finish up this barbecue and maybe we'll be able to eat some of it. I would like that. All right, I'm, I'm here with the, uh, the kitchen crew. How's it going this summer? Hi. <laughs> it is a little hot in here today, I will give it. But you guys are doing a great job. What's on the menu tonight for the uh, for the like the rodeo and the end of the program? Hamburgers, hot dogs, pulled pork, uh, baked beans, potato salad, and chips. What do you think so? What's what's people's like favorite usually when they come through the line? What do you guys see? What's their favorite? Potato salad, cookies, <laughs> yeah. Pulled pork. I know my kids like the, the cookies. Pulled pork so popular. I had somebody just raving about it. To see this crew, because they've been doing an amazing job uh, cooking for how many meals a week are you serving? It's like 5,000, uh, right? I don't know how many meals a week, but it's 40,000 a summer. 40,000 a summer, how about that? What's going through your kitchen? Probably not 40,000. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Woo! Look at that barbecue to be. Tell you what, it smells amazing. All right, Hannah, we're back here and uh, they've cooked all night, correct? They have. Up near 200 some degrees? About at 200. Okay, you turn it. So we smoked yesterday, cooked last night, and now what are you doing here? Now, now I'm just pulling them apart. So I'm taking out all the fat and the bone, and then gonna put it in my pan, and I will heat it up one more time. I'll add all the juice back in and add some more seasoning. All right, can I taste a little piece of this? Absolutely. All right, got my gloves on, taste a little bit. It's amazing. You gotta come try this. Send your kid to camp just so you can come try the barbecue at Miracle Mountain Ranch. It's been fun to see this process. We'll see it on the plate soon. All right, so that's a little bit about how we make barbecue at Miracle Mountain Ranch. We hope that you're able to come visit. Hey, remember, we have a harvest party this fall in October. There's no cost, there's pony rides, there's hay rides, and a bunch of games in Town Hall in that building right there. It's a great time for the kids and family. We do a pie baking contest. We encourage you to come out this fall to Miracle Mountain Ranch. We'd love to have you. See you next time.